Hello everyone, this is Jen and welcome to my channel. So I'm finally here to share my 2024 main planner that I'm going to be using. So if you're new, welcome. I'm Jen. Um, I have struggled this year with, well, not, I'm not going to say struggle. I had fun, some fun playing with planners this year, but because my information is all in different planners, I decided for this year, I want one main planner and then a planner that will complement that planner. So I will get ready to show you. And it's probably an unpopular planner. I don't know if anybody's really using this planner in the YouTube world or I've shown it, but I'm gonna show it and I'm gonna share it. So, um, it is, my main planner will be the Filled Notes 56 Week Planner. So I purchased this with a bundle pack um, for Filled Notes. Like they sent this and then they sent like the little Filled Notes pocket um, booklets. It was like the yellow spring edition or something. So they were running a bundle, bundle sale for Mother's Day. So I went ahead, I bought it, it was a really good price. And these actually retail for like, I think like $17. So I decided for this year, I wanted to go ahead and use this planner. So I'm gonna use this planner. This will be my main planner. Um, it is very simple. I told myself for the 2024, I need to go back to the basics. And actually I will be starting this planner this November and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use at the end of the year for next year. It will be this, um, the separate planner, a legendary functional diary. So this is Tomoa River Paper and I purchased this, oh, the Ludit <laughs> Planner B6. So when I'm finished with this in October of 2024, I will go ahead and use this. It is the horizontal um, layout. And then that way I will have my, um, my 2024 all bundled in together. So you may be asking why am I starting in November? I am excited to get started. I'm gonna start decorating. I have fun kits from Coco Daisy that I'm excited to use. So, I wanted to go ahead and it's almost like, I guess almost like that going into that fallish, going into winter feel. And I thought it would be fun to um, decorate this and use this for the year. So uh, yeah, so this will be my main 2024 planner. So any important information, whatever, um, events, um, like things that we've changed, filters, things like that, it will go all in here. And then after that, it will go in here for November and December. So I, because it is mostly um, just dated, I want to have a, um, I want to have a supplement to go with it. So for my supplement, which I'm not starting until until January of 2024, my supplement for that will be the Ara Estelle Annie Plans um, collaboration. And so this this planner, um, th this planner will complement this planner. So I will redate this and like things, like notes, things like that, I will add in here. So I did have a video where I am showing how I've added um, another page to this planner. So this is an added Stology page. So I already have all my pages added in January. I did want to show you the results of when I used, I think I used a glue stick. It actually worked. So all the pages are in here and doing well so far. Let's see the Stology. So it's nice because it gives me three pages of extra notes and then i will do that for also for february 
So that is my lineup. If you're wondering, hey, what are you using for November for the supplement for um, to go with this? It will be um, this B6 Stalogy. I've already kind of set it up. I'm irritated though because I kind of put this this crooked the um, the um, edger. And this edger, uh, this is from the Planner Society. So I already have my um, page set up for like almost like a month. I guess a month at a glance, like events, whatever for the month. And then I will set this up. I actually used this in 2021. And I wanted to use, um, I wanted to use it up. I don't want to waste my notebooks. So I figured this would be perfect for November and December of 2023. And I'll just probably add a tab. I have this removable tab here from Avery. And then um, I will just use the rest of these pages and that will complement or be a supplement for my field notes. 56 weeks. Um, this is a um, planner anon um, cover. I purchased it when it was on sale. They were like discontinuing the covers, but I thought it was really pretty. It was perfect. I put this little owl on it. And then um, what I did, I ripped the cover off that was here that I had uh, taped on. And then I put this cover because I thought it was really pretty. And it goes actually with the colors of... Coco Daisy November kit. So I wanted that added extra blue. And then I feel like it looks really pretty with this. Even though I know it's like still like reds and greens and stuff, I feel like it's, it's still pretty. It has that red and blue theme going. Um, I added these stickers. Uh, this is from, I forgot, I don't remember what sticker sheet I had, but I added this and then these were from um, Planner Society. So yeah, so that will be my, I will share my setup on how I'll be setting this up. And then um, I have the RSL, but to the side, I still have an extra salogy if I need it. Um, if the RSL is not enough note pages. And then also for the summer, I have this, this stalogy that I've used off and on. So, like I've done scripture writing, there's blank pages, whatever. So, I also have that if I need more. So, that is my main um, B6, pretty much, uh, is my main size for next year. Um, I know this is not like a true B6, but it fits in the B6 cover. Um, this is, uh, in case you're wondering, a Chic Sparrow uh, Callahan Spencer cover. And I forgot the style, but it's a style they came out with. I also have a another note page in the back in case I'm on a journal or whatever. It's a um, uh, Midori B6 Slim notebook. So that is my main planner setup for 2024. Not to worry, I'm still going to do some of my A6. So I figure if I have my main system, then I could just play. And I got this when I was um, listening to, I think it's Monique Plans. She was talking about like a main system, planner system. And I thought, you know what? That is so true. Like, have fun, play with planners, but have your main planner system. Um, even Doc Shana, she has her main planner system. And so that really encouraged me just to get, like, a main planner system. And then if I want to play around in other planners, I can. Um, I'm probably not going to back plan, but I love to, like, create and all that stuff. But I'm hoping that creativity will go more into journaling. So I will share um, my journals probably soon but I wanted to share my main planner system so like I said it will be the field notes 56 week planner 
So, um, yeah, let me know what you're using. If you have a video, I would love to see it. I've been kind of seeing around what people have been getting. I know Hobonichi is like a hot thing right now. And then Sterling Ink is like a big thing right now. So, But this year, I am going with something that is not so popular. And that is the Field Notes 56-Week Planner. And it's made in the USA. <laughs> so... Thanks so much for stopping by and um, my next video will actually be my um, kits for my November and some December and January um, with Coco Daisy. So thank y'all so much for stopping by and watching. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day.